A match made in heaven or an acquisition that makes no sense. Desktop Metal is buying X1 for $575 million. Let's talk about it. Hey, thanks for joining us. Once again, we are going over some interesting industry news here. This is probably one of the biggest acquisitions of the year, if not the past few years. Desktop Metal announces agreement to acquire X1. Let's back up a little bit and describe the two companies. Let's talk about a little bit of what they have and let's see if this actually makes sense. But before we do that, make sure you guys leave a like get subscribed and don't worry we're gonna have a lot to talk about down in those comments i hope you will join me down there this is no small play one of the last great acquisitions that everybody remembers is when stratasys bought makerbot many years ago for a little over 400 million dollars and for all intents and purposes it appears that desktop metal is getting x1 on the cheap, X1 is one of the original five companies to go public in the 3D printing space. And if you want to watch their stock, you absolutely can. We'll put their stock tickers right on the screen for you so that you guys can go check them out. Now, again, this is not financial advice, but it's a pretty big deal when it comes to acquisitions. Let's take a look at X1 stock price because this was announced last night. We haven't looked at it today. X1 is up 45%. 45%. And I mean, guys, it. Huh, I wonder when the acquisition news came out. Yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. And if we look at Desktop Metal, Desktop Metal, well, they're having a bit of a tough week. Desktop Metal's been going on a bit of a shopping spree. And if you remember a little bit ago, we covered their acquisition of Forest. We'll card to it right there so you guys can take a look at it. That was a wood 3D printing company with the name Desktop Metal. Now, Desktop Metal has also acquired Envision Tech, a resin 3D printer company, and now they are acquiring the other big name in powder-based 3D printing. That is binder jetting. So there's a lot of players in powder 3D printing, but if you want binder jetting powder-based 3D printing, you're talking about X1, and now they have it. So we look at the desktop metal portfolio, they're a little bit kind of all over the board, but you've got a company that specializes in resins and machines that use those resins. You have a company that specializes in 3D printing in exotic materials like wood. You've got desktop metal, which their name's pretty obvious here. They 3D print metal in a more desktop scenario. and. Please, before you run out and go spend your hard-earned dollary dues on a desktop metal printer, they start at something around $200,000. So, you know, if you can uh, spend that kind of money, hit me up. I got a printer to sell you. <laughs> but uh, they're kind of all over. X1, to me, makes the most sense out of all of these companies. Now, desktop metal does do powder, but they're more of like an FDM style 3D printing with metal in that powder and that's a big thing to remember here x1 is a powder bed and that you're laying binder on top of now the great thing about binder jetting on a bed of powder is that you don't need to use support material with binder jetting if you're doing it for laser generally you do need that but we actually covered recently a video where you can go effectively supportless for your metal 3D printing utilizing a laser. We'll card to that video as well. So if you guys wanna check that out, you can. But X1 is kind of known for their process of binder jetting and then infiltrating with metal. So they're using a glue binder solution to stick metal powder together. You put it into a furnace to burn it out, generally an autoclave. And then you fill all those voids with molten metal and it comes out to be an absolutely gorgeous part. But this acquisition is nothing to shake a stick at, okay? X1 has 26 years of experience, 
438 installed systems across the globe, effectively. 28 million plus parts printed annually, 45 materials and third party or consumer qualified and in R&D across metals, metal composites, ceramics, and sand. They've of course got $49 million in backlog across direct and indirect metal printers. And they are seeing a 44% sequential revenue growth in Q2 of 21 and 30% year over year revenue growth in the first half of 21. That's a big deal. Like X1 is not a tiny company. This is not just like some company where you buy them to shelve their patents so nobody else can buy them. This is a big deal acquisition and $575 million. When you consider everything that's here, desktop metal got X1 for a very, very small amount of money. I think I'd love to know your opinion on that valuation in the comments down below. But if we look, we can actually see about it. X1 shareholders will receive $8.50 in cash and $17 in shares of desktop metal common stock for each share of X1, the total consideration of $25.50 per share, representing a transaction value of $575 million. That is amazing. Because that's a 47.6% premium to the closing price of X1's common stock yesterday, August 11th. Now, I'm filming this on Thursday. The video comes out on Friday, so work with me. So if you were holding X1 shares as of last night, you just got a little nice payday. Congratulations for uh, listening to the hubbub in the industry. And we had heard some whisperings about this, but it really wasn't anything that I thought was going to be substantiated. I mean, desktop metal is so tiny compared to X1. X1 to me is the powerhouse that would buy desktop metal but I was wrong. X1 kept this so tight that insiders that we talked to did not even know about this until the news itself broke. That must be an interesting way. I, I, I didn't, you know, didn't want to ask too much into that, but you know, must have been an interesting way to find out that, uh, yeah, Desktop Metal's your new boss. I think realistically though, Desktop Metal was going after the patents. Desktop Metal has somewhere around 370, and now combined, you're getting over 650 patents. And here are some of the highlights. Um, we'll, we'll post links to all of this so you guys can see it, but these are the actual investor notes that came from that meeting. Uh, this is kind of big, and I think the big question here that we're seeing in the professional additive manufacturing community is, what exactly is desktop metal doing here because it reminds me back in the day of the 3d systems uh we're gonna call it shopping spree you can see right when it started and you can see how it went for them and then you can see how it's going for them now now of course you know their stock has done very well since the pandemic and a lot of 3d printing stocks have we look pre-pandemic and you know 3d systems is hurting where their stock price from, God, the early 80s hasn't changed much. I don't think desktop metal is going to find themselves to end up being like a 3D Systems. 3D Systems was just scooping up companies to have patents, and now all of a sudden 3D Systems is just shedding these companies in fire sales as far as I'm concerned. When we look at what desktop metal is acquiring here, I think we can all see really what their plans are. It looks like they want to start integrating. If we look at other offerings for binder-based metal 3D printing on the market, there aren't many, and X1 is the industry leader. If desktop metal wants to become a big player, and not a big player, the big player, in, well, binder jetting metal additive manufacturing, they needed to take over X1. We can see that, you know, using certain machines, they're going to have some integrations in. But are we going to see Desktop Metal rebranding X1, or are they going to continue this brand? I hope they continue the X1 brand, because I think that carries, well, a lot of clout. It carries a lot of weight that I don't think the Desktop Metal brand has right now. 
but it'll be interesting to see where these things end up because there's a lot of patents they're acquiring, right? They want to adopt AM 2.0 for mass production and well, binder jetting is really one of the fastest ways to do that. Do I believe mass production via additive manufacturing is possible? Sure. Is it worthwhile? That's the question I think is on everybody's mind. And with this acquisition, Desktop Metal clearly believes it is. We see that they're adding more materials. They're adding 45 from X1, and there's 25 that have some overlap, which is nice to see. So they've likely been working together a little bit throughout it. We can see the Envision Tech RAM system, which was being utilized by Forrest in their video on their website, which I went down that path. We ended up editing it out because I was never able to come upon that desktop metal owns Envision Tech. It was hilarious, but hey, we can look at, because this is a robotic arm, you can do binder jetting with a robotic arm and you can just have whatever size vat you want. Now that's uh, length, of course. The width is gonna be set by the machine itself and I guess technically the length will also be set by the reach of the arm, but you can get bigger arms, okay? That's not a big deal. And we see that the X1 variant of this is very much chamber goes in, it prints, chamber goes out on a roller system. A little bit different style, but I think they play really well together. X1 is bringing a lot to the table as well. They're adding a full digital casting workflow to Desktop Metal that Desktop Metal just didn't have previously. And it is all based upon these sand printing solutions, which were likely already in conjunction with X1. The things that are to note here, we've got the word Texas. The word Texas shows up quite a few times. It is potentially thought that the whole acquisition was done under the code name Texas. And when you think about what Texas is known for, everything is bigger in Texas. So does Desktop Metal think they're going to become the biggest heavy hitter in 3D printing? I don't think that's an unreasonable thing to say here. It's amazing where you see a lot of value and cross-pollination between these companies. This acquisition makes a lot of sense overall. Because their go-to-market strategies are relatively complementary, it enables them to join forces without really muddying the water all that much. If you know X1, you know desktop metal and vice versa, right? These are companies that compete in the same basic price brackets for the most part and are going after similar customers. We look at the locations of desktop metals coverage and then the actual locations of X1, they're clearly working together here, okay? When you combine these forces, you get a powerhouse. And let's be clear, there are quite a few spots the desktop metal doesn't have channel coverage. Give it time. Soon I feel we might see a desktop metal 3D printer in Antarctica. Just because they can. It's like Elon Musk sending a Tesla Roadster into orbit around the sun. It was a marketing thing. And probably one of the most amazing marketing write-offs this country has ever seen. If we look at the transaction overview, as we discussed earlier, the X1 shareholders will receive $8.50 in cash and $17 in share consideration of desktop metal common stock for each of the X1 shares for a total of $25.50. It is $192 million in cash and $383 million in shares of desktop metal. That's a lot of money. Like, honestly, that's a lot of money. And we can see that, yeah, it's pretty amazing for X1. But I think the valuation might be a little bit low. Is it good for both companies? Uh, yes, absolutely. freaking lutely It's great for both companies. I am very happy about this. I think that this is going to be great. Desktop Metal is eating up a bunch of companies right now. But I think they're doing it very strategically. This surprised a lot of people, and it's hilarious for me to watch the channels that we are a part of regarding this acquisition. Some people are like, oh my god, I never saw this coming! Some people are like, well, I guess that does make sense, but dang, I didn't think it was going to happen this soon. 
and a couple of the guys in finance are snickering in the corner saying we saw this coming from a mile away and we couldn't tell any of you plebs because that's not how this works. Uh, so yes, <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Clearly everybody is covering it. You know, we have 3dprint.com that covered it. Uh, we grabbed the Yahoo Finance article, which is actually the Australian Yahoo Finance article because it was the first one to hit. And I just started doing as much research as possible. I'm sure a lot is going to be coming out in these next few days. So if it does, we will make sure to update it in the pinned comment down below. So keep an eye out for that. I would love to know your opinion though. What do you guys think of this whole acquisition? Does it make sense? Do you think it's going to work out for X1 and desktop metal, particularly desktop metal? I'm curious to know what you think about the branding. Do you think they're going to hold on to the X1 brand or are they just going to cut it in favor of desktop metal? There are so many questions right now and really only the future is going to tell us what is going on. So I hope you guys stick around for that. If there are any crazy new announcements, we'll make sure to do an update video. But until then, stay safe out there. Don't forget to call your loved ones. And as always, keep making awesome. Have a good one. Soon I feel... Blah. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. If you like these industry updates all about the publicly traded companies, let me know. We might start doing a stock series or something. It might be fun. I follow the stuff reasonably close, so it'd be something that I would enjoy. Let us know down in those comments. Right below me is going to be the video on desktop metal acquiring Forest, a wood 3D printing company. And next to it is going to be our video all about the types of 3D printing in case you join this because of the news hype and don't know a whole lot about it. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had fun making it. Leave a comment down below. Make sure you get subscribed. Leave a like and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.